All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over some updates that are in the latest version of Crocodile 3D, version 1.5.0. And basically the main feature that I've added in this version is what I call the tilt. And basically what that allows you to do is you could take the 3D crosshair, you know, the white lines that you move around and you can go into edit mode and say you move some vertices like that so now the tile is all angled what you can do is you could hold shift and hover your mouse over towards the edge of one of those tiles hold shift and press T and that will create this little uh, 3D anchor point is what I call it anchor point and if you hold shift and press T depending on where you're hovering it will align itself to the edge of the tile okay so let's say we align it like that so now what you could do is you could hit T and that will change the 3d crosshair to match that anchor point is what I call it so now the 3d crosshair is tilted okay so what this allows you to do is you can go back into draw mode and you could basically draw tiles along this kind of tilted axis okay so that's kind of useful and depending on what you're trying to create you know that might be something that you want to do okay and so let's say let's say we select this one and we turn that off by pressing T again so now the 3d crosshair is now aligned along the default XYZ axis and we can move this around like that maybe we could hold shift and press T right there now it's aligned on there we press T to align the 3D crosshair and now we could you know draw some tiles like that or like that okay and the cool thing about this is you could also move the 3D crosshair you know relative to how it's aligned how it's oriented same way that you normally do you know W goes up S down, A left, D right, space W forward, space S back. Okay. So basically, let's undo all that and delete that. So let's say we had like a wall that we're creating. Alt C, Alt C. Okay, Alt C aligns the 3D crosser back to the grid. But let's say we've we're drawing this wall here. What we could do is you know say we wanted to angle it like that or something. Now we could have this wall basically aligned like that. So that it becomes easier to draw the wall like that pretty cool huh and then for these over here we can just kind of you know click and drag them the vertices make them connected holding shift to snap them to other vertices just like that so now we got this wall that's kind of bent at an angle and you can continue like adding you know tiles and, and things whatever yeah so it's pretty simple just to get a bit more angles into your work so things aren't all square and stuff like that and when you're done you could just hit T to turn it back off and, and that sort of thing so you can see that's pretty simple and it might open up 
other types of possibilities that you hadn't thought of before and yeah so that's basically the main feature that has been added and also if you go into the transform tab we've added this little icon here axis relative to camera orientation and you can turn that on or off and what that does is basically allows these transforms to work relative to the camera orientation so say the camera is pointing this way along the z-axis so normally it doesn't matter like how the camera is orientated you just apply like a transform let's say translate one unit across the x-axis if we select this tile and we apply that it will move it one tile over that direction and if we're uh, orientated this way it would still do the same thing like that okay however if you turn on this option here now you can see it's not XYZ it's right up and backward so now no matter where or how your uh, camera is orientated it will apply the translation relative to the orientation of the camera so now if we hit apply you could see that it moved it back that way relative to the camera like towards the right side okay and say we position it like this and apply it'll move that way it always moves it to the right relative to where the camera is looking okay so that's what this little icon does this switches between XYZ or right up and backward okay and that applies um, same thing to the resize and rotate and all these as well the crosshair uh, translate and that's another thing that I've added to the crosshair transforms is this new translate so instead of just repositioning the crosshair to a specific location in 3D space you can now translate it as well so you can get the position right now it's at this position right here and you could set the position let's say we set that to 4 you can see it moved it to that position now you can also translate it let's say we translate it one unit that way so you can do it that way and it also um, uses this uh, setting right here XYZ or right up or backward okay so that's kind of useful okay and it also does the same thing if you're on a tilt as well let's say um, let's move this like so and tilt it like that Okay, so now we have this tilt here and let's say we select that tile if we hit translate it'll move it along the tilted angle towards the relative uh, direction based on the orientation of the camera <laughs> so yeah and we could rotate things like so as you would normally would and it all works relative to the tilted crosshair so that's pretty cool and the same thing with the gizmos as well if you turn those on it does the same thing okay and you could cycle through them and rotate stuff or resize stuff as well okay it all does it along the tilted axes okay so pretty cool stuff also another thing that has been implemented is some new paint features if you go into the painting tab now you have these two new buttons here we have a vertical symmetry button and a horizontal symmetry button so now when you're drawing you know you can just draw stuff 
and then you can turn this on and it shows this line and now it's allows you to draw some symmetrical stuff okay and you move it around by clicking this little handle and that sort of thing and you could also have a horizontal one and it'll mirror it across the lines basically okay so that's pretty cool and there's also some other improvements with like the um, processing of stuff when you're like moving around the camera it, I've made some changes to make it a little bit quicker but that's basically it for this update the tilt stuff was basically the majority of the work because it kind of ties into a lot of the stuff that's already in there like the rotation and resizing and translating and that sort of thing had to have that work on all the different uh, well orientations and angles and that sort of stuff so that's it for now so yeah